Hi everyone! Today I'm going to take a look at the best budget SSD in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our top 10 best picks, and we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a budget SSD. You can find links to all the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started! At the first position of our list, we have SK Hynix Gold S31 SATA SSD. Samsung's mainstream EVO series of SSDs has sat atop our recommended list ever since 2014, and the new Samsung 870 EVO is still a great option for people who want a rock-solid blend of speed, price, compatibility, and the reliability of Samsung's five-year warranty and superb magician management software. But most people would be better off buying the SK Hynix Gold S31, especially if your PC lacks an M2 drive necessary to run faster NVMe drives. If your PC is an M2 slot, we generally recommend opting for an NVMe drive instead of a SATA drive. If you need a larger capacity, though, or simply want to stick with a tried and true brand, still look to the Samsung 870 EVO, which is available in 250 GB, 500 GB, 1 TB, and 2 TB models. They're just a tiny hair faster than the SK Hynix drives in raw performance, but cost a fair amount more. That speaks more to how wildly good of a deal the Gold S31 is though, as the Samsung 870 EVO offers a very compelling and affordable package compared to most SSDs. The Samsung 870 QVO is another strong contender, with capacities ranging from 1 TB all the way to a whopping 8 TB, but we'll discuss that in the next section. Moving on to the next at number 2, with SK Hynix Gold P31M 2 NVMe SSD. If performance is paramount, the Samsung 970 Pro or Seagate Fire Q to 510 are the fastest PCI E3.0 NVMe SSDs you can buy. We'll discuss even faster PCI E4.0 NVMe drives in the next section, but most people should buy the SK Hynix Gold P31. Yes. SK Hynix is on a roll, dominating our budget, PCIe 3.0 NVMe, and best overall SSD categories. The Gold P31 is the first NVMe SSD to feature 128-bit TLC NAND, and it pushes SK Hynix's drive beyond other options, which use 96 NAND layers. The model we tested absolutely aced our Crystal Disk Mark VI and his SSD synthetic benchmarks nearly hitting the blistering 3.5 Gbps read and write speeds claimed in the press release. It also held its own against SSDs that cost much more, our real-world 48 GB and 450 GB file transfer test. The Crucial 5 is another great, affordable NVMe SSD that performs on par with much costlier options and would likely be our top pick if the SK Hynix Gold P31 didn't exist. Its PCIe 4.0 capable cousin, the Crucial 5 Plus, delivers slightly faster speeds for a much higher sticker price. However, it's still a capable SSD, but doesn't earn our full recommendation like the non Plus 5. The number 3 position is held by M600 Pro XD. Most NVMe SSDs use the standard PCIe 3.0 interface, but even faster PCIe 4.0 drives exist now at least on systems that support the bleeding edge technology. Only the most current two generations of AMD, Ryzen 3000 and 5000, and Intel 11th Gen and 12th Gen processors support PCIe 4.0, and even then only when they're inserted in a modern motherboard with PCIe 4.0 support. If you meet that criteria, though, and don't mind paying their steep price premium, PCIe 4.0 SSDs Leave even the fastest PCI E3.0 NVMe SSDs in the dust, delivering write speeds that double up on the SK Hynix Gold P31. Just crowned our favorite standard NVMe drive. The YouTube Samsung's ferocious 980 Pro dominated the earliest PCI 4.0 SSDs, and it remains a strong contender if you are looking for a smaller drive. Many rival drives start with 1 TB options, but Samsung offers a gamut of capacities. You'll pay $80 for 250 GB, $110 for 500 GB, or $185 for 1 TB of capacity. There's also a massive 2 TB option for $360. 
It also earned our Editor's Choice Award and might be a compelling option if you're looking for a smaller drive, as its 500 GB model cost just $85, well below what Samsung charges for the same capacity. Next at number 4, we have AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. Be aware of what NVMe drives deliver before you buy in. Standard SATA SSDs already supercharge boot times and loading times for PC, and for a whole lot cheaper. You will get the most use from NVMe drives, be it an AM2 form factor like the Samsung 980 Pro or a PCIe drive. If you routinely transfer data, especially in large amounts, if you don't do that, NVMe drives aren't worth the price premium. If you decide to buy an NVMe SSD, make sure your PC can handle it. This is a relatively new technology, so you'll only be able to find M2 connections motherboards from the past few years. Think AMD Ryzen and mainstream Intel chips from the Skylake era onward. For the most part, NVMe SSDs that were mounted on PCIe adapters were popular in the technology's early years before M2 adoption spread, but they are rare now. Make sure you are actually able to use an NVMe SSD before you buy one, and be aware that you'll need four PCIe lanes available in order to use it to its full potential. The number 5 position is held by Crucial Pwn 503 NAND NVMe PCIe internal SSD, the king of budget SSDs. Crucial is a consumer brand from Micron Technology, an Idaho-based American producer of high-quality ROM and RAM units. The Crucial Pwn is a 3D NAND Micron 64L 3D QLC NVMe M2 SSD that comes in three sizes, 500 GB, 1 TB, and 2 TB. It has a sequential read speed of 2000 MB S and a sequential write speed of 1700 MB S for its 1 TB variant, which we recommend for gaming and most desktop applications. It also features random queue done read and write speeds of 170,000 and 240,000 IFS. In terms of durability, the 1 TB variant has a rating of 200 TBW terabytes written, while the 500 GB and 2 TB models have 100 and 400 TBW accordingly. All three Pwn SSDs come with a five-year warranty. In terms of actual benchmarks, the Pwn does perform surprisingly well. The 1TB Crucial Pwn averages sequential read and write speeds of 1,494 MB-S and 1,403 MB-S, with peak values reaching 1,731 MB-S and 1,757 MB-S, which is actually quite close to the advertised 2,000 and 1,700 MB-S values. Despite being cheaper than its chief competitors, the Sabrin Rocket Cone and the WD Blue SN550, it actually outperforms both in user benchmarks by 12% and 3% in effective speeds accordingly. You can currently find the Crucial Pwn 3 DNAN NVMe M2 SSD starting at $59 for the 500GB model, $104 for the 1TB model, and $299 for the 2TB variant. Excellent prices for excellent SSDs that have little to envy from their much more expensive competitors. The number 6 position is dominated by Crucial MX5 101 3 NAND SATA 2.5 inch internal SSD. Despite being slightly more expensive than the competing Samsung QVO and SanDisk SSD Plus at the 1 TB range, the Crucial MX5 100 makes up for it in performance. Since it is easy to argue that a 9%, 89% effective speed increase is well worth the extra $5, $10 that the Crucial MX500 will cost. The Crucial MX500 comes in four models, 250 GB, 500 GB, 1 TB, and 2 TB. The Crucial MX500 boasts sequential read and write speeds of 560 MB S and 510 MB S respectively with 4 KBQ done read and write speeds of 7,500 IFS and 42,000 IFS, and 4 KBQ D32 read and write speeds of 95,000 IFS and 90,000 IFS, all values for the 1TB version. Making use of Micron 3D NAND technology, this 2.5 SSD is equipped with ES256-bit hardware-based encryption and integrated power loss immunity. According to Crucial, this SSD can write up to 360 TB before experiencing any hardware issues, and it comes with a 5-year limited warranty. 
If you're out of M.2 slots, or just looking for a cheap 2.5 SSD to tack onto your PC, then the Crucial MX500 is the way to go. You can currently find it for only $114 for its 1TB variant, an excellent price and another excellent product by Crucial. Finally, the number 7 position is dominated by Crucial Z1 TB Portable SSD. Welp, what can we say? Crucial has done it again. The best price to performance ratio external SSD model is Crucial's Z Portable USB 3.2 SSD. If you own a laptop, a MacBook, or a tablet, then an external SSD is a must, and Crucial's Z is compatible with pretty much any type of operating system. Windows, Mac, iPad Pro, Chromebook, Android, Linux, even gaming consoles like PS4 and Xbox One, this portable SSD will work with just about anything. And since an external SSD is meant to be portable, the Crucial Z is only about the size of a cell phone and is made to withstand several types of common sources of damage. Its fully anodized aluminum unibody core can withstand a fall from 7.5 feet while also being extreme temperature, shock, and vibration proof. To top it all off, it also includes a three-year limited warranty. That being said, the Crucial Z Portable SSD is yet to be beaten in performance for its price, and you can currently find it for $119 for its 500 GB model and $164 for its 1 TB model. That's all for today. We upload budget-friendly product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.